Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid with Philip Therese. Uh, last episode we hit up the school, uh, tried to get some some better carry weight, carry capacity item, bags basically. Um, we, we, we managed to get another hiking bag which uh, uh, replaced our duffel bag, so now we've got two normal hiking bags. Um, I was thinking that large hiking bags didn't exist but uh yeah that was that was debunked yeah the big hiking bags definitely do exist and uh yeah it's something we're going to need in the future right now though uh the focus on what we want to do today is uh is carpentry now to to start getting up our carpentry i've learnt the the carpentry for intermediates book uh, which is going to give us a, a multiplier that we're going to need uh, but the only other thing we need is a hammer and screwdriver now i've got the hammer hammer's sorted don't even worry about the hammer but we've we need a screwdriver now i thought i had i, I thought i picked up a screwdriver before because it's, it's quite a common item but yeah we don't actually have one so before we can do that, we just need to rummage through a couple of houses and find it. Cool. And, you know, scavenge on the way there as well. But yeah, we're, we're going to try and make this quick just so we can get we can get on with uh, doing up the carpentry skills. So, okay. Was there, was there a door inside? Uh, you, usually, like, it's garages or something like that that have a screwdriver in. Ah, okay. Let's find it. Uh, two welding rods. Nope. Club hammer. Nope. Tarp. You can't actually use a tarp. It would be pretty cool if, like, if you could cover like a car with a tarp or something like that. That'd be pretty, pretty awesome. But no, it doesn't look it. Most of these uh, houses are open, which is pretty cool. Duct tape. Yeah, we're going to take that just because we can repair the machete. Okay, uh, hand axe will take extinguisher. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll take the extinguisher. I, I don't think we're ever going to use the extinguisher, but we will definitely take a car battery charger. Yeah, yeah, we want to take that. Box and nails. Awesome. Now usually like, oh, what's this? So. What's going on here? So this door has a board on it. And this guy had a M9. Maybe he was trying to like keep something in there. I can definitely hear something in there. I've got to do it. I'm kind of interested now. Can we unbarricade this? Let's try it. Yeah. I'm just wondering how many there are in there. Uh, let's equip the hand axe. Get a proper weapon going. Right, let's go. Oh, it's only one, really. I was expecting a fight there. That's pretty cool, though. I've never, I've never actually seen that. So, I guess that guy was like trying to like barricade a zombie in there, like maybe, like like his wife or something like that, and he was yeah trying to like protect himself. I guess. Pretty interesting. Um. I don't think a screwdriver is going to be in one of these rooms. No. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Where'd you come from? Oh, he smashed through the window. That's where. That's where he came from. Okay. No, we don't need that. Okay, to the next house. It'd be good if we can find like a shed or something like that. Uh, that's cool. We'll hop the fence. We'll try it. Did I get it? The where, where's my stuff? Oh, there we go. Yeah, because usually like a screwdriver is like one of the first things you pick up. I just must have assumed that the, because it was so common that I didn't need it for whatever reason, but. 
Oh well. We'll get one. It, I just don't know how long it's going to take. Usually, like, the, the things that are really obvious that you need, it takes ages to get them. Yeah, Phil, you can take three. Easy. Oh, look at that. Phil just taking them all out. Uh, no screwdriver in those. We are pretty drowsy, so we should uh, keep an eye on that. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves but hunting knife hunting knives are cool just don't know how useful they are empty gas can i'm gonna take the cyan bulb just because you can there's like a like an outdoor light uh that i kind of want to i kind of want to change from yellow to blue it'll um yeah so one of these i, I won't do it to this one but you you can sort of like uh, make your house more identifiable um, by changing the the light, just in case we you know we do forget where we live. Uh, glue light bulb, propane tank. We've actually got a propane tank, so we don't really need that. I swear he had something in his stuck in his butt. Maybe it's a screwdriver. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Jesus Christ. Kitchen knife, nope, never mind. Uh, we're tired. Might take a quick quick nap in uh, maybe this next house. There's quite a few zombies in there, so I didn't want to check it. Zombie there. Oh, never mind. Let's do a very quick U-turn there. We are wet tired hmm okay yeah we're gonna have to pull over for a bit i'll go in the house we uh we looted just before and then we'll we'll give it a quick sleep zombie there we'll take this we'll take this one out Yeah, when you're tired, like the your your weapon damage is just significantly reduced. It's almost like it's trying to kill him with a rubber chicken. Be quite funny to actually do, but we 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 won't try that. Okay, there's like a hardware area here. Damn. Only sounds like one. Confirmed. Okay. And we'll sleep. Yeah, we'll sleep here for a bit. Light brown. Needle. Take the needle. It's not, it's not like a suture needle, so you can't really use it for, for, um, like medical stuff, but you can use it for like tailoring if you want to fix up your, your shirts or whatever. Okay. Now we are not tired. Let's get back at it. What's in here? Uh, mechanics and just a book. Okay, cool. Oh, there was like a hardware area, or no, just a radio. Come on, screwdriver, where are you? I don't know if uh, zombies get like less active at night, or they get more active. I kind of think that. I, on one hand, I don't think they'd care, I guess, but pretty cool to know. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll have to skip this house because there's, there's way too many around. They actually got in there. Two zombies there. We can do... Oh, damn. There's one there. 
If we can try and pinpoint where the garage is, I think it's on the right side of the house, then we can just nip in and nip out. We don't want to be skipping the houses just because there's a couple of zombies in. Does this house even have a garage? Come on. Damn. It's pretty hard to see when it's so dark as well. I think his body clock's a bit messed up. There we go. Cool. I was starting to think maybe they glued the window shut before the uh, the apocalypse came. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a light in it? I kind of think there's a zombie in the corner. Oh. What do we got? Hmm. Make a fishing rod. We want that. Yeah, we definitely want that. Oh, crap. A knocking. So that's burnt out. <clears throat> you... We might be able to just just because it's burnt out doesn't mean that there's there's no items in there. Like I actually, Ooh. hey guys, no no need to get up. No, it's cool. It's cool. Uh oh well, let's jump that fence real quick. Damn, they make a lot of noise. Can I have my hiking back, please? Cool. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty uh, OP that you can just hop the fence and they can't follow you. But it's good for us, I suppose. They make a lot of noise just for free zombies, though. We've just got to be extra careful because we do not want to to get a zombie sneaking up on us. Screwdriver, yes. Lovely. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. That is definitely what we need. Awesome. Uh, now we can just get back to what we wanted to do this episode, which is uh, carpentry. Cool. So, uh, assuming we can get back in one piece, we can do that. Just go through here. We are a little bit far away from home, but we could just hop a couple of fences, it'll be good to go. I'll hop this fence over here just to give these guys a wide berth in this house. Now what I don't know with, with jumping over these gates is can the can the zombies uh like sort of grab you through the fence? I kind of think they can, but I don't know. Oh, he's actually walking away. That's cool. Cheers, mate. He's a he's a pacifist zombie, but they do exist. They're very rare. That's that's not true. It's not true at all. Okay, let's move back. Uh, oh, damn, it's just so so dark. I think we need to. Oh wow, there's a zombie right there. We just <laughs> oh god. It's just so dark you can't even realise. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're on our road now. Oh, what's that? It's like purple in that house. Is that like a bug or? Oh, it's a. There's a purple light in there. Awesome. Oh, is there? No, there's not. I think it was just a bit bugged. No mind. All good. False alarm. We have the uh, the cyan. Uh, wait, which one do we have? Yeah, cyan. 
That is blue. Thirsty and wet. How can you be wet and thirsty? Just drink yourself, Phil. Easy. Okay. So this is what I mean. So if we if we remove this light bulb and insert the cyan bulb now oh and turn it on now we have a pretty cool little thing it's not actually that spectacular but it's yeah it is it is different so i'll take it um our thirst is is really is really picking up i think it's just because we're we're running around a lot wet what about is this wet everything everything is wet okay what we'll do is let's get some fresh clothes going so whilst the tumble dryer is is still uh usable we'll get all of our stuff in here we'll just, just switch that on and then Give ourselves a wash as well. Awesome. Phil is definitely feeling the breeze now. Okay, uh, we will. Do we have any fishing? No. Okay, we'll put this extra stuff away and then we'll start dismantling stuff. Box of nails. Uh, we'll take the car battery charger and put it in the actual car. That'd be where it'd be more useful. We don't need the pistol. We'll get rid of that. Needle. Light bulb. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do I hear banging? I can kind of hear banging. No, false alarm, I think. Okay, cool. So, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll start, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, I, f I thought I could hear banging. I don't really want to let him into the house, but Screw it. Come on in, buddy. Thank you for my housewarming event. Okay, let's, let's get him out. I don't want a corpse at the front door. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I will do want a corpse at the front door. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of zombies. Let's turn this stuff off as well. Damn, that's a lot. It's six. Uh, okay, let's... We'll put the corpse here. For now. Make a ni nice, uh, neat pile zombie there. Okay. Oh, you can't come in, guys. Is there a light here? No, I don't think so. I think it's just how it is. Okay, cool. What was that zombie doing? He's just standing in the bush. Okay. I can say that. Let's start dismantling some of this stuff. Oh, damn, we need a saw. Oh. We need a saw for the, the stool. What about like doors? Yeah, we can get the door. You failed to produce any usable materials. Cool. I guess we can just use the unusable wood for like firewood or something. Door hinges. Nope. Plank. 
great. So what do we what can we make with carpentry? We I want to make some walls, that's for sure. So I want to corner off the sort of the back area of the garden. Uh so we can get some farming going on, but and also some crates, it'd be good to get some some extra One thing I'm wondering though, I wonder if we can, if you can sledgehammer some of these walls because it'd be good to, I'd like to sort of gut this house because yeah, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the, the aesthetic of having like furniture and stuff like that. It'd be cool if we can just get like a big open square and then just sort of build in storage from there. But yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, but I, yeah, I, I don't think we can. We can actually dismantle anything else. It, okay, we can get the table. Yeah, we we definitely need a saw. So that's. I think that's going to be our next job. Is getting a getting a saw. But I, I suppose we can get like doors and stuff in the meantime. It just it just doesn't mean we can. Uh, we can dismantle absolutely everything, so that's that's not ideal, but oh well. Cool plank there. Okay. I think that's all the doors. Okay. We'll go upstairs. Oh, hello. What are you, you guys? Like, like a riding helmet or something. It's a pretty weird setup. You got a riding helmet, some trackies on. Huh. So, I guess the question is do we want a riding helmet or do we want a, a hard hat on? Let's, let's get it all together and see what it looks like. These are all wet. Screw it, we're taking it. Okay. So, okay, let's let's see what it looks like. I mean, that looks better, I think, because it's got, sort of got like the black of the riding helmet. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. Let's dismantle these, get the rest of the doors. And then I think next episode we can have a look. Oh, that was two planks that time. We're getting better already. Uh, next episode we'll try and look for a saw. Although I, I, I imagine that's going to be quite difficult to do. Plank there, cool. We'll start gathering this stuff once, uh, once I've dismantled all of it. Because otherwise you're just carrying around a ton of planks and they weigh so much. So, yeah, saws are, I, they're, they're definitely not as common as screwdrivers. They sort of just come about when you're not really looking for them. So, we'll find one eventually. I just don't know how long it's going to take. But we can do this for now. We can, there's, we've got a ton of doors from all these massive houses, so it should be fine. Okay, and then the last door here. So, how many planks is that? Let's get that. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a plank in there. I think first thing we've got to do is barricade that front door because I really don't like that that pack just hanging outside. We'll have to clear it at some point. One more plank. 
cool. I think that was it. This is a one here. Yeah, there was. Okay. So the only downside to uh, to barricading doors and windows is that you can't use them. So we'll keep the back door uh, open. Uh, is it not open? Is in uh... oh, we need something else. We'll keep it open in the sense that we won't barricade it, but. So that would be, I suppose, the only weak, the only weak spot. Okay, so we need we need a box of nails now to actually start pinning these boards up. Box of nails nine. Now in each box uh, of nails there are hundred nails, so we've we've got nine hundred nails. I think I think per barricade it's like two nails, so. We sat for a, a long time in that for, for that. That's all good. And the cool thing is you can actually barricade both sides of the door. So you can put four on the outside and four on the inside. So it's gonna take absolutely ages for Oh, don't disassemble. It'll take absolutely ages for any zombie to get through, so plus it looks pretty cool just having everything barricaded. And one more. And I also think it, it sort of blocks the light out as well. So obviously you're gonna have some like natural light coming through, but not if we barricade it. We'll get these uh, outer windows barricaded as well. Uh, we'll put we'll put one up on each window for now. So we we definitely don't have enough. Just so I know that. If the windows do get smashed, which I'm pretty sure they will do, it's, it's quite easy for a zombie to smash the window. That they've uh, they've got to chew through a barricade. Cool. Oh, that reminds me. So when we were coming in looking for this safe house, there was actually a a scavenger house just a little bit north. We should yeah, let's check that out. Maybe next episode, if I can remember. Got a lot to do. Oh, really? Damn, we need one more barricade. Is the one in the next hiking bag? No. Okay. Counterproductive, but I'm going to take one off the, the front door. Okay. Just uh, completes the, the first level of barricades. Awesome. I feel safer already. Perfect. Uh, so it's 11.30, I think in the morning, and we're already pretty drowsy, so that's, yeah, our body clock is, is messed up. But I think we'll leave it there. Let's see if we can get something cool to eat. Let's see what, we, what we've, we've got to work with. Okay, so, Empty cooking pot. So let me show you what you can do with with cooking. So if we go, you can put in a can of soup. So if we go make a pot of soup, yeah. So we can either make it with the canned mushroom soup or just the canned soup. You know, what, let's go with the canned mushroom soup. It's got uh, a base ingredient there. So already, I think that actually gives you. Uh, more stats than if you were just to eat the, the can of mushroom soups. It's actually got unhappiness as well in there. Uh, so what else can we put in? Bacon. Can we put the bacon in the soup? Uh, put in container, no. Oh. Damn. Maybe, maybe I need some like chicken or something. I'm gonna try the next house over, screw it. This is gonna happen, he's gonna have a fancy dinner. Or a, it's mid midday, so lunchtime, he's gonna have a fancy lunch. Damn, look at that, that's just a crime scene in there, isn't it? It's blood spatters all over the wall. Cereal and chocolate, damn, living at large. What can we do, can we add any of that in? 
We'll take it so we can uh, throw it in our fridge. Peanuts, chips. Be good to loot properly at some point. Pepper. Oh, there's a shed there. Maybe all. Now, we're very tired, but there could be a saw in there. Because that's a pretty decent looking shed. Let's try it. Oh, and a generator. Very cool. What do we got? Fishing line. We've got a fishing rod. Standard gas tank. Ooh. Our our car is like on 40%. Yeah, I really want that. Yeah, we'll take it. So much stuff. I don't know what mechanics level you need to actually use that though. Electronic scrap. <sighs> okay. So mental note, there's a generator there. we we'll, we are definitely gonna need that when the when the power starts going out to fuel like the fridge and, and stuff like that. Fridge, lettuce. Can we put any lettuce in there? No. Take the lettuce anyway. Water bowls. Yes, we definitely want that. Oh, what was that? Saw. Yes. Two saws. We only need one, but two. We have a backup saw. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, hello. This is interesting. So, an actual axe, which is just pure style points. That's very cool. So, I think I mentioned in like a, another episode that uh, you can find houses with like themes and I found one house with uh, a bunch of like farming stuff in it and even in like the kitchen. I think this house is has a similar theme where there wasn't any food, well there was a bit of lettuce but uh, there was just a bunch of like utility items like that axe and, and saws and stuff like that. So that must be one of these. That's a really good find as well, so yeah, next episode we can uh, continue dismantling stuff. It's really cool. Oh man, we're okay, we're excessive exertion. If a zombie were to get us right now, then uh, they'd have a pretty juicy dinner, I think. Very tired. It's because we've got that uh, gas tank in, the, in our bag. Okay, we will definitely go to bed. Oh, I kind of want to try the, the gas tank. We'll, we'll do it next episode. I don't, I don't want to break Phil's back or exhausted, can barely move. Okay, I get your hint, Phil. Start complaining. Gardening saw, trip that in. It's pretty cool we got an axe. That's, that's pretty good. Very tired and hungry. Damn. Phil is definitely not subtle about what he needs. Jeez. Chuck the axe in there. We'll put the car battery charger in the actual car because that's where it needs to be. Uh, can we put that in the... It requires... It's 13, so can we... Uh, if we put the hand axe in there... And then put the car battery in here, because then it will reduce the weight. Tw now it's still 20. What's weighing us down? Two. We need to cook that pot soup. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. This is... Uh, I think I got sidetracked. We were trying to find some like chicken or something to put in the soup, because I wanted to, to show you how you can like mix ingredients to make a, a more potent uh, food, but... And now uh, we got we got derailed very quick, and now Phil has a sword back. So uh, let's cook the soup. Let's cook the soup real quick. Uh, where is it? There we go. 
throw that in there and then chuck the fresh stuff we found in here okay now we're not we're not we're not too overweight now so i just want to try and see if we can <laughs> phil's just limping um I want to see if we can replace that. I don't. I don't really know what tool is required to to replace stuff. But oh, you can wash it. Ah, that's cool. I didn't know you could wash it. It makes sense, but I didn't know you could do it. Okay, gas tank. So what do we need to do? We need to have a look at the vehicle mechanics. And then, yeah, so currently our one is at 49%. I assume if we can get it to 100%, it can either carry more fuel or it's more efficient at burning it, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. I suppose that that be the engine's part. So, yeah, it's probably just carry capacity of gas. So, I think, look, it says 20 f out of 23 and then... This one is out of 49, so it's basically double our carry capacity, so we definitely want that. So, anyway, uh, we need a wrench. That's all we need, we just need a wrench. Oh, recommended skill, mechanic 5. We don't need it. It just has a 5% chance of success. We might wreck it. Huh. Maybe I'll leave that to a different time. I don't really want to wreck this car, so we'll just we'll put the uh, we'll put the, the the gas tank away. But it's good to have. It's good to have that. Uh, good to have it when when we need it. We'll chuck it in the garage. Oh, that soup's probably on fire. Oh, it's burning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. We were gone like 10 seconds. Anyway, so if you cook it properly, you can, <laughs> you can make better food. But yeah, that's, that's burnt now. Yeah, let's pour that on the ground. How does burnt soup make you bored? I guess I, I get that it'd make you unhappy, but I'm not bored. Okay, well that's outside now. The birds can have it. Birds can have my can sample my terrible cooking. How do you burn soup? I mean, come on, Phil, that's ridiculous. Okay, stay on task. We're going to put the gas tank in the garage, and then we're going to go to sleep. Oh, we're still very hungry. Ah, <laughs> uh, how have you survived this long, Phil? It's unbelievable. Sheer luck. Okay. At least we're not uh, over the carry weight now. Okay. What can we eat that's to make us less hungry? Bourbon? No, probably not. Oats are pretty good. That's like minus 50 hunger. That's really good. Let's eat that. Oh, man. We went from very hungry to full to bursting. That's brilliant. Okay, now we're we're gonna we're definitely gonna go to bed, Phil. Exhausted and ridiculously tired. Okay, sleep well, Phil. I'm sure you will anyway. You'll sleep like a brick.